Good morning. It is Sunday, the weekend of Memorial Day, and I'm currently getting ready to go to a yoga class. And Michael's coming with me, very exciting. But I saw um, Minji from New Jeans. I love New Jeans, by the way. I love K-pop, if you guys don't know. Um, she had on, well, she has been wearing a headband like this and it looks so cute, but it's not the same color as her hair. It's like a blue one in the, one of their latest music videos. And I've never worn something covering my forehead like this. And I think it just doesn't look right because it accentuates the width of my face. I think that's it. Maybe it's just not for me. I've worn this backwards, which is the usual with the bow. I feel like I just need something girly. I feel like that already looks better <laughs> because it's balanced out. So yeah, we're going like 30 minutes away to a class. I was invited by an acquaintance and she's actually hosting it. We don't go to yoga classes, so I'm excited, but we have not done yoga in a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I also don't know if I'm going to play frisbee golf after, so I have to decide. But I am doing some light makeup just because I that's that's who I am. I like to, you know, do this little routine. And I actually have been struggling with workout clothes because I've gained some weight. And it's one of those like weight gain situations where I don't really notice. Maybe I'm just growing up and accepting my body. I don't know. Or maybe I have just a womanly body now. I don't know what's happening. I'm actually trying to find like active wear that is cute and my style and that I'll really enjoy. So I've been on the hunt because things are on sale and I think I'm going to cave and purchase something from Halara because they have some really cute active wear dresses. And I quickly want to mention how comforting it is to film with the front facing camera because this is how I see myself like on a camera and I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> so, or in um, the mirror, that's the person that I see. It's like, it's the way people like it, but I do love my regular camera, which by the way, I am thinking that I need to take to Best Buy because it keeps opening up in my purse because the button, the on off button is a little pressed down. And so yeah, that needs to be taken care of because I'm afraid that something is going to happen to it in my bag and then I'll have to, I don't know, the warranty will be expired. So it's still under warranty. But yeah, this weekend has been just us bonding. We had a barbecue yesterday, it was so, so cute. And my balloon actually um, flew away accidentally after we were doing an Instagram story. So that was tragic. I was trying to organize these clothes. I truly need to get rid of this chair because I'm not allowed to have chairs or tables in my space because they just get covered with stuff. I also want to start selling some things. I've sold things on Mercari. I used to sell things like back in the day, but I would love to do like a whatnot show in the future, but it's just kind of intimidating to me because you have to I don't know. You have to be on camera, which I feel like I would be fine as because with my job, I give presentations. So it's not that horrible. I'm just overthinking it, but I would have to, you know, tag everything and what is the word? Like price everything because it's my bidding. And I don't even know if it'll be successful, but that's how you start. So yeah, I'm just going to mention it here in case you guys um would be interested in that i'll leave my mercari down below if you are my size um i have things size small and extra small um yeah i just have things that i bought thought that it was for me and then i learned that like it's a little uncomfortable for me personally like i love the item but it um either feels like it's falling off because my bone structure doesn't hold the shirt um that's just one thing that i the clutter out of my closet which is kind of sad because i actually love the top let me show you so this top right here is from express and i love this it is iridescent and shimmery it reminds me of like a fish and this is when i was getting into mermaid core but this is a top that goes like that and when i put it on it feels like they're constantly going to go like this 
because I don't have enough width. That is an example. So many pieces that I love, but it's just not flattering on me or doesn't feel right. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and I will see you guys when we're at the place. So all done with yoga. I'm alone and I'm going to get my camera fixed. Um, I'm in a very big lawn. There's like a tree back there, you can see. And I've had a pina colada with uh, some acquaintances. So that was good. I'm gonna go back to them now. Well, I went to Goodwill and that was not a good decision, but it was because I got a lot of stuff and I'm excited about it. Um, I'll do a little haul when I get home. I'm trying not to feel guilty because I got some really good pieces. I got a coat that I'm like super excited about because I have been not feeling good in the jacket department and now I'm even more motivated to get rid of some things that just aren't serving me because I have replaced them. Okay, it's haul time. I got hangers. These are five hangers. I don't own any hangers like this. Very exciting. I always can use more. Top. But then I have this, which is a hummingbird soap dispenser without the top. I don't know if I'll have something that fits, but I thought this was really pretty and sweet, very magical. And then I have this Pampered Chef whipped cream maker that my friend told me about. And I saw it there and I was like, you know what? Let's just get it. It's better than whipping out the um, mixer and hope that's not weird that it's used. It was just used for food, right? Hopefully. Now I've been trying to avoid getting art because I just collect it, but I couldn't pass these up. Beautiful cat and raven. Very cute, they look like tattoos. They look like pen drawing, but they are not. I thought they could be, thought they could be stacked or something. I don't know, somewhere. Up first we have this piece, which is a Forever 21 piece. And as you can see, it's very dramatic, very long. It's just a Morticia kind of vibe. And it has covered buttons, three of them these sleeves. Um, there is some space because it's a size small. This is so great. Like. <laughs> so I decluttered this brown skirt that I got from this style and this is going to replace it. It is my size. I love the silhouette. It goes more out. It is part wool. It's J. Crew factory. The back is elastic so there's going to be some room. And picture this with like black tights. This is not um, how I would accurately wear it, but like in the fall, winter, this is gonna be me with a pair of boots. Now we have a jacket. I have two jackets in this haul. And this one is from American Eagle originally. It um, has these big pockets. Love that, perfect. And the thing about this coat is that the sleeves are cropped. I normally don't go for oversized things, but because my wrists are showing, um, I think it's acceptable. And like with this outfit, I would, I would wear this just all black. Um, these are not for outside, but these would be cute too. So this is olive, which is not in my color season, but I still love olive. It's just a classic for me. And I have some olive pieces that just aren't my style anymore. I need to get rid of them. So I feel like really good about this purchase. Plus it has this embroidery which makes it feel more feminine because the other pieces that I have don't have any feminine touches. And then this, I could actually fold up the sleeves. One thing I realized about this coat is that it has a kimono silhouette without the waist cinching. And I did think about putting something in on the inside where I could cinch it if I wanted to. And it has zipper and buttons. And it's very jingly, which is kind of fun and no hood so it doesn't get in the way of my hair. I don't know if I would ever wear it closed, but 
this is it. So I've been on the hunt for winter fall skirts because I'm a skirt person. If you don't know, already know that, I am a skirt person. And this one, I can't, I can't believe it. This is a Korean brand because it had tags on it and 33 Tribe, I think, was the brand. And this is just perfect, fits me perfectly. Oops, there's one button missing. It's classy, it's classic, it's tailored perfectly like there are darts this is probably one of the most perfect pieces that i've ever thrifted i actually thrifted another skirt that was for fall and winter but i haven't included it. it it's dry cleaned already i have to get these dry cleaned because this is also part wool so i got very lucky in the wool department this is a more accurate representation of the length i love this so much i feel like a woman you know this is the last wool piece that i have I got a little, a little uh, sidetracked there. I was looking for dresses and this is what happens. So these are a pair of trousers and I've been looking for dresser pants because of my new job and I have been trying to find a pair. It's difficult because they're either too tight, the pockets kind of gather, but these ones, they like create curves. I don't know if that's weird, but there's a lot of room. So it's kind of like a skirt pants and I have to tailor them. I mean, I'm going to do it myself because they're very long. There's one pocket on the butt, which is kind of fun and belt loops on the back, two on the front. This also makes me feel like a woman. <laughs> I don't know. I just never bought like clothes like this before and I'm trying to upgrade my style, but also sustainably as sustainably as possible so yeah i'm just so excited even though it's kind of out of season but it's fine just wait until fall and winter i'm gonna go go crazy i'm just gonna find stuff to do just like wear my clothes and lastly is this coat and this is my new like waterproof ish i don't even know if it's actually waterproof or it's just water resistant but I actually paid $5 too much for this because this was in the men's section and it's clearly women's coat. It has a drawstring. So be warned if you're shopping at Goodwill or like a thrift store that prices men's and women's stuff differently, make sure you're getting your woman discount. And it has a zipper. The buns are interesting, look at this. The skin is like seen. So you see the button. There's a hood. I have to fix a string right here. I also have to fix this. Just sew it really quick. I'm going to secure these ends and then just do a stitch and it'll all be fine. This is also a size small, so it fits me here. It's a little bit long, but I can wear like a sweater under it, which is very important. And these purple pants are super great. The drape and treatment on these is very interesting. They're very soft, but they're 99% cotton, 1% spandex, so they're like stretchy and cozy. I can't really feel how cozy they are because I still still have my life on underneath, but yeah. These were such a great find. I've never gotten lucky with anything from Seven for All Mankind, even if I see it at the thrift store. And so now I feel like, does my body fit that brand? Is that what's happening? So now I, I mean, I, I shouldn't be, shouldn't be on the hunt. That's, that's not what we're doing, but I'm more open to this brand. They're just like a nice, active, sporty, but colorful. I feel like free people would sell pants like this. And that's basically the vibe that I go for. I try not to obsess over free people, but I do love their style, except I don't like the materials so much. Like things can be thin and um, too long and I'm petite, so. That is all, that is all my spiel. That's all that I got. So it's later on the day, we got ice cream. This is not a picture. I was posing for the picture. Yeah, I was vlogging, I was vlogging today. Um, but ice cream was not aesthetic at all. Yeah, we are gonna take some modeling photos. Yeah, um, I wanted to go try to get the children. Um, <laughs> try to? No, try not to get the children. Oh, okay. Like the children are behind me. Um, I was like, oh, let's go to this park, and there's a carnival at the park, so never mind. That's why we're here. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to go to this weekend, but 
No. It's all teenagers. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got these. Very final destination. Mm -hmm. I mean, I only go for the funnel cake. This is what we're doing. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.